I'm your vegan, I'm your fire, your desire. Hi you guys, it's Marina, the Eco Goddess. Welcome to my YouTube channel, or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so stoked to share with you guys today my zero waste vegan hairspray recipe. After my last video, which featured my zero waste vegan hair care routine, I received a lot of beautiful messages from people trying out my hair hack. You remember the one that goes like this, where I twist it, and then I put it up all day, and then when I take it out, it gets all wavy like that. Yeah, that hair hack. A lot of girls tried it and they said that they absolutely loved it and it worked like a charm however for the girls that had relatively straight hair the curls didn't hold up I can relate to those of you who have pretty fine and straight hair it's difficult to style it's difficult to hold curls if you put them in even if you sleep the whole night with braids or curlers it's just gonna go back to the way it was and so I decided to do something about it and create my own concoction and surprisingly Believe me, I was surprised. It works like a charm and it definitely gives you that sexy beach wave look and it also holds your waves perfectly. So, are you guys ready to make some zero waste vegan hairspray? Let's go. Step number one. Take one cup of warm water and put it into your mixing bowl. Step two is to take one tablespoon of sea salt or pink Himalayan salt, really whatever you have in your kitchen will work great. Step number three is to add one tablespoon of your favorite organic, vegan, and zero waste conditioner. Of course, if you have access to a bulk store near you, this is where you're going to want to stock up on your shampoos, your soaps, your conditioners, your everything. If you don't want to use conditioner in your recipe, I would highly recommend using a hair oil, something like almond oil or coconut oil or argan oil are great alternatives to conditioner. But the reason that you want to put conditioner in your hairspray is because the salt and water actually dry out your hair and they can take a toll on the beautiful natural oils in your hair. So to balance that, add in some conditioner. Step four is to add in approximately one tablespoon of your aloe vera gel. Now, I fortunately had some aloe vera growing on the farm, so I just simply went into the garden, plucked one of its leaves, and decided to throw some of that in there. The aloe vera acts as a hair gel, but of course it is super natural, super sexy, way better than the synthetic hair gels out there. Yeah, don't mess with that stuff. Now you're gonna give that a good stir and add in optional favorite essential oil. I like to add in rose oil because I find that I smell like roses all day and who wouldn't wanna smell like roses really? I mean, come on, come on. Now that you've made your mixture, you are ready to transport your mixture into your spray bottle. I fortunately had an old spray bottle that I was no longer using, so I simply upcycled it for this recipe. I would highly, highly recommend getting a funnel and pouring in your mixture that way. Once you've poured your mixture in and filled your bottle, give that bottle a good shake and do a little shake with it, you know, some dancing, because you, my friend, just made yourself some zero waste vegan hairspray. Now, of course, we couldn't get through this video without doing a little bit of a demo, so here's the hairspray made by yours truly, Eco Goddess, and I am going to show you guys how to style your hair with it. So, got the good shake going on, and you're just going to spray and scrunch. Now, I highly recommend doing my hair hack, as in twisting it and putting it up and making sure that it dries before you apply this hairspray. Because if you have straight hair, you'll already go into this hairspray with having body, so it will just, it'll just up your game even more, if that makes sense, if you know what I'm saying. If you want your hair to have more body, I would recommend teasing it. Oh my goodness, I sound so official. I literally just learned this term the other day. But anyways, I can feel the saltiness on my hair. The salt really helps in drying and shaping your hair. I'm gonna get a little bit closer so you guys can, guys can see. <laughs> This is so much fun. I hope I'm not the only one having fun. 
And another method that you can do, and I'm not gonna do this because you guys wouldn't see me doing it, but is to flip your head upside down and then just go like this. This looks so wrong. <laughs> but go like this and scrunch upward. Now as for teasing it, like I mentioned, you're just going to take a piece of hair like this and then go back towards it. You see? Like that. Looking in my viewfinder to make sure I'm actually doing it. You see? Do it in the back as well. Oh, and then your hair hairbrush might get stuck in there. Okay. And this is just something that I would recommend that I actually think would work really well is to throw your hair back up for a little bit until the hairspray dries. So go like this, twist it, put half up and twist. So you see how I made four sections? Twist it and then put it up and leave it there for a little bit. Have a little dance party. So I have now let my hair dry for a few minutes. I've let the hairspray dry in my hair and this is what the hair looks like. It's definitely, I would say, here I'll show you this angle too. Look over the shoulder. <laughs> so yeah, I would definitely say this is a sexy and messy wave. It really does look like beach waves and I don't know about you, but I'm so stoked about this recipe. I'm so excited that it works and I truly hope that it works for you guys. So that is my video for the day. I very much hope that you enjoyed it. Definitely hit me up on the DMs if you tried the recipe out. Let me know how it works for your hair and I will see you guys very, very soon. See you later. See you later.